Trying to get to the basket, basket yeah, was create my own shot. But uh, with DT also created my own shot, but just in a different way, more of like a post scout. Yeah. yeah. When you, when the ball well, your name's already really popping up on NBA mock drafts. Do you, do you see that? Do you pay attention to that? I mean, I got I got friends and family who send me some of that stuff, but I try not to pay attention to it right now because for all we know, I can have a bad year right now, and then all that can be going to waste. But I'm definitely gonna try to help a good year, and I'm glad to see that my name is in some of these people here right now. Does that? I mean, it came from you played what three minutes against Michigan last year. Yeah. 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 And stuff to come from that point to now, you know, six months later, you were talking about you as a first round pick. What, what happened in, in between there? there? I mean, I, did, I definitely think I just, at the end of the season, I proved myself when I was given that opportunity. I went out there and produced when I was given those minutes. So I went out there and did what I had to do. So I guess people, uh, people, uh, they, people, they remember what I did in high school in my first two years of college. You didn't really get to see it until last year at the end of the year. So now they're just thinking, okay, he's going to build off that. Yeah. Talk about the ways you can attack the, the basket. You can hit the threes, you can drive to the basket, you can do the spin move. Just talk about the different ways that it, things in your arsenal maybe to attack a defense. You feel like you're a hard guy to guard. I mean, when you come right down to the yourself. I definitely think I am with so much of my game. That just come in with uh, how I was in the gym, uh, especially this offseason. Even when I was younger, when I first started playing basketball, uh, just working on ball handling, uh, knowing I was going to be a tall guy, that working on ball handling, working on shooting, and doing some of those things that caused me. Mm -hmm. We saw last year. a guy year, like Kraft you know, set you up. Became, what is that? Three what is that shooter for all, all the guys you know, playing yeah, around? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this it year doesn't make everybody's job a lot easier when you got a guy that like Kraft so, that can create, and, and, and also a guy like Shane Scott who can create off the dribble. It makes the job a lot easier when you know you only got to do this thing. Did you think about entering the draft last year? I definitely teased with the fact a little bit after the season because I thought I looked at that draft last year and I was like, okay, I can definitely see myself going in that draft from last year. But then I sat down with my people in my circle of people. Yeah, and uh, I thought it was best that I come back and uh, yeah. I mean, that was rim, Deshaun made no bones about it last year. He said, I'm coming back. It's not, it's not, it's not always that about kind of where you are. As as it is just, uh, uh, you're talking about right now? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, I came back. Yeah. I came back to uh, definitely. Like, I, I didn't know what number I would go in last year, but I definitely tried that I could. So hopefully, what I do this year is even boost that number a lot more. Pretty yeah. well for you. Is there someone you thought of your game after? Um, I, I, my favorite player is Kobe Bryant, but the guys I look at the most is probably like Kevin Durant and Carmelo Anthony. Mm -hmm. Just some tall forwards. Yeah. yeah. One more time. the quick? All right. If, well, uh, who's taking this the is uh, Thad's 10th year here. here. Okay. 10 years ago, a player like you wouldn't have been at Ohio State. He's really taking it. <laughs> no player. doubt. Just, no. What's kind of the standard? I think Lenzel said if he gets a rebound, he's taking it. I mean, he yeah, said a great thing. He set the like bar high here. No, not even just Crab Columbus here in Ohio. He set the bar real high. I mean, he uh, you got a lot of, you got, bringing in a lot of different type of players. You can also so, uh, see that Coach Meyer liked the big I think wings. Have a lot of guys he brought in guys like, guys brought in guys like E.T. that was before me. He brought in guys like Dave Light, who's also like 6'5". So, I mean, he's just bringing in a type of style of players that he likes to play with. When when did Ohio State first catch your attention? I really don't think, I really don't think, I started looking at Ohio State my junior year, I think. Actually, uh, I, and I think we all want the ball. I think Ohio State was the only school in the Big Ten that I had. I hadn't heard from any other Big Ten school just because we have been from the South. So, you know, when you had to reclassify as a prospect you after you started your freshman, did you ever think about going anywhere else? Um, I, I told Ohio State before I left that I was going to come back because I had already got so close with these guys here and I already had been through that summer session working out, doing school. So, I definitely thought I was a new school. What about the NBA? Did you wait for all that leaving after this year? You're a guy that kind of appeared on some of the mock drafts and stuff like that. You said after this year or last year? Last year, I definitely thought about it. I thought I had a strong performance at the end of the year. Uh, the way things were going, I thought uh, uh, maybe I could uh, mess with that fact a little bit, but I sat down and thought about it and thought it was the best I'd come back another year. You saw what two years ago with the Final Four run did for Deshaun in terms of boosting his confidence and turning him into another team's go-to guy after Jared left. Do you see any similarities between you right now and where Deshaun was a year ago? Um, definitely the same, similar situation. DT. Was talking about Jared was the main guy. DT's what sophomore year, well, both of them yeah. sophomore year actually. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, during the tournament, DT averaged, was averaging like 25 through like our first couple games, and then he just boosted on this year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Over the next year. Right. What was that like for you this past yeah, last year? You were maybe the best the player on the team during those couple of games. Was that a big but I step forward for you? Um, I definitely think so. I mean, I just, really hard I, to like, like I said, once I got the, the opportunity to go out there and produce, I did that. So that was uh, great for me. Else. And, um, Who's I taking the final shot in the tie game? Me. I don't know. Me and Craig one and one right now on game winners, so I think one of us. With that, smaller lineup.
that speed. You know, the Chinese looking at the do you, this year. We talk, I think it's hard to keep going back to the Deshaun like comparisons, but last year we always pressure. talked we, uh, about how far he had moved. We had a little bit of a press last year. And looking at a guy we, um, like you, we able to get who I think admitted that you had some immature moments in your freshman year with the tweet and everything. Do you look back? I think, think how far you've come. How the game is. How the, how the game is. I mean, I definitely think I do. How much I've matured since my all freshman year and uh, all the things I've summer? overcome yeah, since my freshman year with not playing my freshman year. Uh, Kevin coming back. I guess that's the big thing, right? Is you know that on offense you can be a mismatch problem yeah. for the other team, yeah. but you've got to be able to defend, to defend it at the other end if you're getting burned on every yeah. possession. Yeah, it's definitely it definitely uh, is a process of gaining that strength, but also keeping that quickness. Okay. So in the last couple of years, this team has been kind of led by, by committing some stuff. Do you see that still being a trend this year? Does someone pick up more than the other as far as leadership? How do you feel about that? I mean, I think I think you get leadership from uh, all different angles with this team. And I think you got Kraft, who everybody knows one of the main leaders of this team, but then you also got guys like Shannon Scott, who's also been a leader for this team. You got other guys like Sam Thompson, who's doing the same. I think this year is going to be a group effort from everybody. This year. How often? So, um, I definitely do. I try to, this year I definitely work on, that's one thing I worked on too, also communicate with my teammates more, definitely because I think down the line they're going to need me a little bit more than they need me last year and uh, knowing, that, knowing that if I'm not talking to them, they're not going to look to me in the game. How often do you think you'll play with your pass for the basketball? Um, I think when I can, because it causes a lot of mismatch problems. We got plays where pick and rolls happen and just, uh, the guard is going to have to switch up on me, so I'm able to take advantage of that. Do you play it on the end of four? I mean, I mean, probably so, definitely. Especially with this team, like we're not a we're not a real big team. We only got one guy who's 6'10", which is a real Williams, and then you got the next tallest guy is probably me, Mark, and uh, Trey. We're, we're all around about the same height, six eight, six nine. Can you play the five? Like, if you guys want to play like you, Sam Lenzel, and two point guards, can you play that lineup? I mean, I definitely think I can because if you look at our games last year, I was almost playing the five when DT was out there. DT, it was like me and DT, four or five, so you know, and we ended up guarding like the same people, so it was however Coach Potter wanted to do it this year. When you guys do that, that is like a, that's like a crazy matchup on offense. Yeah, you definitely, because if, if, like if you got me sitting in the middle, pick and roll, you got DT spot, you had DT spotting up, it was hard for the team to guard, and I think that's what caused a lot of problems in the tournament for us last year. So, but whatever it is, again, you're, if you've got to be a big guy on defense, you've got to be a big guy on defense. Yeah. What guys, I mean, obviously you're the main scorer or whatever, but who have you kind of seen pick their game up over the summer and score uh, uh, Amadeo. I would say Amadeo has probably been one of the most consistent guys since he's been here as far as scoring the ball. I mean, what he did what he did overseas this year in his uh, Italian league was uh, incredible. He averaged like 19 points over there and got MVP. So I think he's one of the best scorers.